Hello friends, I'm Sandy Scroggins. I am here today to show you how I made 14 cards using the Keller's Creations Birthday Wishes Card Connections Kit. The pattern papers were so much fun to work with and the cut-aparts are so cute. For adhesive, I used art glitter glue and my ATG gun. All of my cards are standard American A2 size, which is 5.5 by 4.25 inches. For measurements, please visit my coordinating blog at thecraftybean.com. Now let's get started. For my first card design, I used Card Sketch No. 8 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of black cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of striped pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to 2.75 by 4 inches, rounded two of the corners, and adhered it to the right side of the card. I cut a fishtail on one end of the birthday cut apart and adhered it to the bottom center of the card. Then I adhered the, and many more, circle cut apart to the bottom of the birthday cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my second card design, I used card sketch number 219 by Operation Right Home. I cut a piece of black cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of striped pattern paper to 1.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I adhered the banner cut apart above the striped pattern paper. I cut a piece of 4x4 four four red pattern paper to 3.5 by 2.5 inches and adhered it above the banner cut apart. I adhered the It's Your Day cut apart to the right center of the card. Then I adhered three black gemstones by Picket Fence Studios to the card in the upper left hand corner of the red pattern paper. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my third card design, I used Card Sketch No. 2 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of red and white pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to 3 and 1 8 by 4 and a quarter inches and rounded two of the corners. I rounded the corners of the cut apart, wishing you a very happy birthday, and adhered it to the blue cardstock. I adhered that to the card. I die cut a border out of yellow cardstock and adhered it adjacent to the blue cardstock. Then I adhered the blue present circle cut apart to the bottom left of the wishing you a very happy birthday cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my fourth card design, I used card sketch number 51 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 3.5 by 4 inches and rounded two of the corners. 
I cut a piece of red striped pattern paper to one by three and three quarter inches, rounded one corner, and adhered it to the red cardstock. I cut a piece of star pattern paper to three by three and three quarter inches, rounded one corner, and adhered it to the red cardstock. I adhered the red cardstock to the center of the card. Then I adhered the Make a Big Wish circle cut apart to the right center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my fifth card design, I used card sketch number 36 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of red cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to four by two and a quarter inches and adhered it to the top of the card. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to four by two and a quarter inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card. I cut a piece of star pattern paper to one half by four inches and heared it, it between the two pieces of pattern paper. I die cut a border out of red cardstock and adhered it above the star pattern paper. I adhered the happiest wishes to you cut apart to the left center of the card. Then I adhered the cupcake circle cut apart to the bottom right hand corner of the happiest wishes to you cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my sixth card design, I used card sketch number 258 by Operation Write Home. I cut a piece of black cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of star pattern paper to five by three and three quarter inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of black pattern paper to three and a quarter by two and a half inches. I cut three strips out of red, blue, and yellow cardstock, cut a fishtail on one end of each, and adhered them to the back side of the black pattern paper. I adhered the celebrate cut apart to the center of the black pattern paper. Then I adhered the birthday hat circle cut apart to the right bottom corner of the black pattern paper. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my seventh card design, I used card sketch number two by Operation Right Home. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut two strips from the one inch strip cut aparts and adhered them to the left side of the card. Then I adhered the unwrap a special day cut apart to the center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design.
And here is the completed card. For my eighth card design, I used card sketch number 539 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of red and yellow pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of red cardstock to one and a half by four and three quarter inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to four by one inches and adhered it to the bottom center of the card, overlapping the red cardstock. I cut a banner out of yellow cardstock and adhered it to the top of the red cardstock. Then I adhered the make a wish circle cut apart to the bottom center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my ninth card design, I used card sketch number 81 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of black cardstock to two and three quarters by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of black and red pattern paper to two and three quarters by four inches and adhered it overlapping the black cardstock. I adhered the one year older cut apart to the left center of the red and black pattern paper. Then I cut a banner out of red cardstock and adhered it to the left side of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 10th card design, I used card sketch number 180 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of blue and white pattern paper to two and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to two and five eighths by three and one quarter inches and adhered it to the right side of the card, overlapping the blue and white pattern paper. I cut a banner out of blue cardstock and adhered it to the bottom center of the card. I adhered the blue balloon cut apart to the center of the yellow pattern paper, overlapping the blue banner. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 11th card design, I used card sketch number 183 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of black cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of black and white pattern paper to four by three and a half inches, rounded two corners and adhered it to the card. I adhered the You're How Old circle cut apart to the bottom right hand corner of the black and white pattern paper. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 12th card design, I used card sketch number 694 by Sketch Saturday. I cut a piece of red cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of red and white pattern paper to two by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card. I cut a piece of red and yellow pattern paper to two by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to the top of the card. I cut a piece of yellow cardstock to three and a quarter by one and a quarter inches, cut a fishtail on one side and adhered it to the right side of the card. 
I cut a piece of red cardstock to 3 8 by 2 inches, cut a fishtail on one side, and adhered it overlapping the yellow cardstock. Then I adhered the, did someone say cake, circle cut apart to the left center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 13th card design, I used card sketch number 218 by Operation Write Home. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of star pattern paper to 2 by 5.25 inches and adhered it to the top of the card. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to 2 by 5.25 inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card. I cut a piece of blue cardstock to 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 eighths inches. I cut a piece of red star paper to 3 and 5 eighths by 3 and a quarter inches and adhered it to the blue cardstock. I adhered that to the right center of the card. I cut a banner out of yellow cardstock and adhered it to the bottom left of the card. Then I adhered the happy happy and hooray circle cut aparts to the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 14th and final card design, I used card sketch number 552 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a 1 inch strip from the strip cut aparts to 1 by 4.5 inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut another 1 inch strip to 1 by 4 inches and adhered it overlapping the first strip. I cut a piece of blue and red pattern paper to two and a quarter by three inches and adhered it overlapping both of the one inch strips. Then I adhered the surprise and present circle die cuts to the lower left side of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. And here is a look at the 14 cards I made using the Keller's Creations Birthday Wishes Card Connections Kit. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Also, please let me know which card is your favorite in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.